Joe is moving into his dorm. Finally, freedom! These are going to be the best years of his life. There must be some mistake. Joe doesn't want to live in the girls' dorm, but he doesn't have a choice. Don't make Mr. Jackson mad. He makes the rules. This room clearly belonged to a spoiled rich girl, and she's not very friendly. She doesn't want a broke boy as a roommate. He sat on her bed, and he's watching her TV. That's so rude! Caroline is pretty mean, and she shows Joe his place. Personal space is crucial to her. This is better than the trailer Joe lived in his whole life. He'll make this room the best in the world. Caroline thinks that idea is hilarious. That bed looks more like a dog kennel to her. And he's a real dog. Woof! But he's no rock climber. That second bunk was too ambitious. Don't give up. Just take the ladder up to the clouds. Why climb up if you're scared of heights? This is pretty entertaining. Joe wasn't expecting anything like this. Joe got so caught up in his remodel that it inspired Caroline, too. Now the path to Caroline's success lies across Joe. She's used to stepping on heads to get to the top. She's not worried about his legs. Joe's worried, though. Well, he's been run over a few times. He knows what to do. New legs will take some getting used to. Caroline shouldn't have relaxed. Joe left her a little surprise. Ow, that hurts! He'll pay for his Lego torture. Looks like Joe just had an epiphany. Love of Legos and pain inspired him to decorate his wall. Pick up the pieces first, though. Caroline's bed is a built-in spa station. She needs some serious rest and relaxation. It's expensive, but she can afford it. And she's earned it. Something went wrong. Joe and his breakfast got in the way. He needs cucumbers. Letters from Caroline's fans are all over the apartment. Joe can use them. He had a ball like this back in the day. Goal! Now Joe has another idea for decoration. Joe needs a shower. All this construction has made him stinky. Caroline thinks this peasant is hilarious. Her shower is built into her bed. Joe's never seen anything like this. And thanks to the curtain, he won't. Caroline is so shiny and clean. But isn't her bed wet now? What? Joe doesn't know that her bed has a drying function, too. Caroline is too rich and beautiful. What is this feeling? Joe is going through his stuff and remembering why people used to call him a squirrel. Caroline stole his stool. What? Joe used it as a closet and as a friend. Joe just made a chair out of his stuff. It needs to be washed, though. But later. This is like a throne for a king of the room. Our kingdom is cold, your highness. It's hard to study when your roommate is blasting super loud music. Who even listens to Adele? She's asleep. Joe will have to do something extreme. Cut off her hand? No, just scan it. Why is the music still playing? It's a live performance, actually. It's infuriating. Since Joe can't stop it, he'll have to improvise. Joe used to play the drums back when he was a young warthog. Now this is a hit. Caroline woke up to see who these musical geniuses are. She loves it, and she wants to buy the rights. Joe is finally earning money from his talents. Caroline is making herself look beautiful. Joe's toys make her so mad. Okay. She can't handle this. Quit throwing your toys all over the place. Put them together, now. Put them together, huh? Good idea. Now he has a cool building table. He'd invite some friends over, but he doesn't have it. 
Now Caroline's feet are safe. A nightstand can be a good midi fridge. All Joe has left is one egg, and he's waiting for his chicken to lay more so his mom will mail it to him. Caroline has a grill in her bed. Awesome! The smell of steak is hypnotic. Caroline's bed is full of surprises. It looks great, and it must taste even better. Joe wants to try the grill feature. Caroline is graciously letting him try it out. And Joe is letting her try being broke. Reading in the dark is bad for your eyes, right? Caroline has a huge bright lamp. Can Joe borrow it? No way! He can't afford it! It's cheaper to wait for the moon to rise. Joe's room is full of the previous resident's stuff. What if there's something useful in here? This trash can turn into a racetrack! He's betting on Bumblebee! That's a pretty cool lamp! Vroom, vroom! Caroline thinks that's hilarious. Aren't you too old for toy cars? Joe knows how to impress her. All she cares about is a big price tag. Joe's family tradition is cleaning on Saturday mornings. His room filled up with trash over the course of the week. And it's all from Caroline. They might get evicted for this. Her bed has a vacuum feature. If Joe wants it to be clean, he'll have to clean it himself. Caroline's ironing feature broke. She'll have to do it all herself. Joe can take advantage of this. She doesn't need the ironing board, but Joe does. He'll just have to disguise it so she doesn't recognize it. Now he has a rocket shelf. It's not her ironing board. It just looks like it. But Caroline is smart. Now the ironing feature works again, thanks to Joe. He's even better than the bed. Caroline is beautiful, but she should wear her backpack normally. The door isn't opening. Is this a prank or what? It's not funny. Does Caroline know what's up? Of course. She installed a lock and a retina scanner. Someone stole her ironing board and ruined her favorite shirt. The scanner is an opening for Joe's eye. If it only lets girls in, Joe will have to become a girl. It worked. Finally, he's home. She wasn't expecting him to be this creative. Joe loves watching funny dog videos. Oops, chocolate on the wall. Joe loves dogs so much, but pets aren't allowed in the dorm. Are drawings allowed, though? Where'd the food come from? Who's a good boy? Shake! Joe's going grocery shopping today. Caroline never does that. Her bed has everything she needs. Even Joe gets some. He's so happy. He's never seen anything like this. He's never even had ice cream before. Caroline overslept again. Her rich habits are very expensive. She needs to bring more money so she can afford to buy all the things she doesn't have time to bring. There's no time for breakfast either. Won't Joe help by giving her a sandwich? She gave him ice cream. He has such a big heart. And Caroline has a big mouth. Now there's no food left for Joe. But he did get a small present. Now he can throw away his old socks. Caroline invited Joe to play video games together as a truce. That's what friends are for. But the dorm administrator has news for them. He just realized he mixed up the room assignments. And someone is going to have to move. Comment below and say who you think should stay and who should move. There's no point in calling his dad to talk to the principal. Because he is the principal. And he's been really busy lately. It's a hard job. And when you have a troublemaker son, it can be impossible to juggle everything. So 
He's going on vacation and lets his son take over in the meantime. That seems like a bad idea, but Jackson needs to learn how to be responsible. The principal's son gets special treatment. But ever since he became the principal, he got even more special. Getting that job made him all powerful. The whole world is his toy. He can do anything. He's so powerful that he can spin the earth with just one finger. He has no idea what consequences his actions have. It all seems so fun. Good thing the teacher was here to replace the planet with a ball. That saved the day. Now, Jackson is going to handle changing the school's curriculum. First, he changes the rule of chess. Chess is so boring. But he made it exciting. Now it looks like a tournament. But with teachers instead of knights. Look at them go. Who's going to win? It looks hilarious. Being the principal's son is cool and all, but being the principal is even better. You don't have to follow the rules. You can make them. Principals never have bad ideas. All their ideas are good. Glasses are too boring? Then take a break and relax. Sure, not everyone agrees with that. But Caroline's rebellion is powerless against Jackson. You can't argue with the person who controls everything around here. Caroline doesn't stand a chance. One of the principal's new rules is all about food. No more healthy food. Only molecular cuisine. Everyone loved it at first, but the growing burgers are way too nutritious. The students are falling asleep in the cafeteria. Caroline can't believe her eyes. This is terrible. It looks like a nightmare farmyard. Luckily, Jackson came up with a way to solve it. He increased the hours of PE class. Jackson is our college's rock star. And as principal, he's staging a concert over the intercom system. Now all the announcements sound super cool. This is a good decision, since now it's impossible to ignore the announcements. But everyone is a critic these days. Caroline isn't happy at all. And she'd do anything to get things back to normal. She wants to turn this chaos back into a real school. But Caroline shouldn't get used to anything yet. Her small victory turned into a failure quickly. And though she tried to make it better, she only made it worse. Now the music is even louder. And the teacher can't resist the rhythm. Sorry, Caroline. The last oasis of peace Caroline had was art class. But Jackson ruined it, too. Everyone loves the new teacher. He looks like a Greek god who just came down from Mount Olympus. <laughs> but Caroline is still fighting. She's going to hit Jackson where it hurts. His muscles! But she didn't realize that it wouldn't destroy him. It would only make him mad. The talent show is Caroline's chance to shine. She's won it for years. Her dancing is unparalleled. <laughs> this year, her title is in danger. Jackson is here for the win. It's not enough that he's principal. He wants to be the most talented student, too. This is where the magic happens. We're talking about sleight of hand, obviously. He's got a world record score. And now he's not only the most talented in our school, but the world champion. He got more points than Caroline has gotten in all her years combined. Even though Jackson is the principal, he still has to take exams. 
Caroline used to help him, but should she help him now? What do you think? Yes or no? He's been so mean to her recently. <laughs> and why should Caroline help him when he'll get what he wants anyway? If Caroline won't do it the nice way, Jackson will have to do it the hard way. The principal is always more believable than the student. Nobody ever goes into this classroom. It used to be cozy and cute back when it was a lab. But the new administration is changing everything. Now Caroline's lab is going to be replaced by a gym. A private gym for the principal. Jackson needs to work out. Brawn over brains. After all that shaking, Caroline's brains are spinning. Exercise is serious business. The lab was the final straw for Caroline. She has to go on the offensive and show that the principal's new role is a dictatorship. I challenge you. How can you hurt someone who's self-obsessed? Make him look bad. What do you do if he ends up looking even better? How can you beat someone unbeatable? That was a shade too far. What do we do now? Did you like our new video? Then be sure to like and subscribe!